Now, the first $51 million that this council gave to the migrants came from the opioid settlement funds. We need that money in my neighborhood. We need that on my block. So I'm asking y'all to use our tax money for our people. We need it. You live on the west side, uh, Mayor Johnson. You know exactly what I'm talking about. That was Chicago resident Patricia Ray Eastlake calling out the city's mayor, Brandon Johnson, all over funding for migrants, as you see, uh, her MAGA hat. And she's got a strong message. Yeah, this is taking place at the most recent city council meeting where they were weighing a $70 million proposal to use taxpayer money to pay for illegal migrants coming to the city of Chicago surrounding areas. Patricia Ray Easley is the woman in this video and the hostess of Black Excellence Hour. She joins us now. Patricia, good to see yeah. you. Thanks for coming on. Fiery speech there, obviously filled with confidence in this moment. Can you break this down for viewers that are watching? We've reported on the migrant crisis in major cities, including Chicago. Now you're seeing where the taxpayer dollars are going, and you're opposed to it. Talk about that. Absolutely. So what's happening right now is that the city of Chicago seems like they're much more interested in making sure that illegal immigrants get our tax funds rather than the actual citizens. I actually ran to this interview uh, because I lost my carpool. And the reason I lost my carpool is because my carpool buddy's daughter's school, which is an elementary school in the area, uh, they have a measles outbreak. <laughs> So the children have to stay home, and I had to rush and do everything this morning. So it's affecting us on multiple levels. Now our children have been exposed to measles. They're not going to school. TPS took the school buses, and now we're rushing to take our children around the city. It's getting worse and worse every day. Wow. And it's obviously so bad that you're attending local board meetings, right? Um, yes. Motivated enough to speak out because... You're right. There, there's children uh, that you've got to consider about their futures, where funding is going, what's going on with the schools, right? If perhaps you've got teachers who are um, catering to people who, who don't speak English here, who knows what language. There are people coming in from all over the world, um, mm -hmm. taking away, again, the focus on American citizens and Chicago residents. Uh, Patricia, I, I got to talk to you about the hat. L the last time we've heard about a MAGA hat in Chicago was having to do with the fabricated Jesse Smollett saga extravaganza, <laughs> which didn't ultimately end up being true. But but yours is real. And why do you choose yes. to wear that and, and send that message? Because this is our country. I'm an eighth generation free American. Everything in this country is for me and people like me from sea to sign and sea. We're rejecting the liberal message that we are oppressed, that the uh, white that the white Republican boogeyman is going to jump out of the ground and bite us on the feet or whatever lies they're trying to tell us. No, we don't care about that. Here in the city of Chicago, we know that this is our city, this is our country, and we have to be proud of our city and our country right now. And the only way that we're going to be able to beat this invasion is by standing under one flag under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. So we are wearing our MAGA hat loud and proud because we can do what we want to. We're at home. There are many on the left that say that black voters align with the left, with Democrats. They're behind Joe Biden. He doesn't have to work hard for the black vote. We've seen in recent polling that that has yeah. shifted. Um, are there... Uh, is there a strong base within the black vote that are, and again, here it is, just to reference the Siena New York Times poll, if you look 2020 for Trump support from the black voting bloc to March 2024, it is now at 23%. Do you believe that is growing, and why? It's actually much higher than that now. Every time we go outside and we have to step over illegals who are selling goods in the street, who are panhandling, who are committing crimes, when we have to drive our children to school ourselves because they took the transportation money to give it to the illegals, when we see people who are outside overdosing and we have to keep Narcan in our cars like Dr. Quinn, medicine woman, because they took the rehab money and gave it to illegals, every day they are literally bringing people to our side. Mm -hmm. I actually believe that Mayor Dawson is the greatest recruiter for the Republican Party right now in the country. They should definitely send him a check. 